Howdy folks, welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2. I am the Mysterious JG, your friend in the Digital Age. Um, I'm not a Prothean, which is why I don't suck at combat. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> Take that, Shadow. Alright, so we're kind of going uh, deck by deck through the ship, but it turns out nobody wants to talk to us unless we invite them to our private cat for a little one-on-one -on -one fun and games. Uh, yeah. Don't really know what to tell what you, what you should be thinking if a your guy and a lesbian girl wants to come to your place for fun and games. It's probably not the same thing you'd normally be thinking when a girl wants to come over for fun and games. Garrus, I can already tell that this is not going to be a light, frothy chat. Thane Trios' name has been added to the list of the dead. I don't know if that's typically how you do it. He didn't die uh, on the ship, but. You know what? I'm not going to quibble. Shepard. Hell of a day. Budina loses his mind. The Citadel almost falls. Yeah, we and didn't you lose almost that had many to put times. down a friend. Got a little tense there. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? Well, I mean, no. I would have ordered you to do it. I don't see how. We start killing our friends, and war turns into murder. Murder well, only it doesn't always anything. give us the easy way out, does it? At least Ash didn't have to join Caden. Let's hope he's looking out for us. This was his fight, too. I like Garrus. If I didn't like Garrus, I would have lost all faith in him after the uh, his obsession with calibration came in, but... I like Garrus because he's actually, you don't control him. There's never any point in the series where you play as Garrus. But he could conceivably uh, pick up the baton and carry it if it came down to it. It's pretty badass. I like Garrus. Good to have Ash back. We can always use a friendly gun. Happiness is a friendly gun. Good to have Ash back. We can always. What else we got on this deck? Sorry to interrupt. Well, well, Ash. Should probably talk to her. Uh, she's in the starboard observation deck. But uh, let's. Uh, Head up this way, check with Liara first, and as we pass by, as we head towards Liara, we can be reminded of the KFC heat lamp of old. I guess we'll check in with Chakras, too. I have the latest reports on the Council, Doctor. Their security is in disarray, but it would still be weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal staff. Well, wouldn't now be the time? And it's far too risky after Odina's coup. Postpone those deployments. Oh, Shepard, you wandered in right in the middle of my plotting. Uh, we really should put a lock on that door, Glip. I don't think I got any new stuff to get out of him, but... Oh, no, I guess we do. Solarian Special Task Force appears to have approached the Vol Protectorate about co-developing combat implants that require rare elements found in Volus space. The schematics for these implants include plans to retrofit them to non-Solarian species. Should be sufficiently profitable venture. One of the upgrades could be commissioned, although its construction would be time-consuming and must be custom-made. Power damage bonus. Health bonus. What have we already got? We've got ammo capacity, power recharge, speed, shields, and weapon. Um... Use power as much. Incinerate boost boost would be nice. I think like the health boost would probably be slightly better overall, but neither of them's really that huge a deal. Let's go with health bonus. Ah, power damage. Health is more likely, I think, to come up again as an option. Yeah, fuck up. Power damage. I usually go with uh, damage over health, but. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for the help, big man. Audio recording from Counter Gajuri's Senate office. <sighs> Emergency funds gone, sir. We don't have enough credits to hire enough ships to evacuate the colony. What about the military? Left an hour ago. They said there'd be too much for us to come back, did they? Yes, sir. Here. This is a passkey, sir, an inventory. Phillips, I'm authorizing you behalf of the city senate to seize any and all EZO stockpiles in our treasury in order to secure a safe passage. These look like private stockpiles, Senate member stockpiles. I'm foregoing re election. I'll get us those ships. Yes, sir. Okay, well, maybe that meant more to you than it meant to me. Greetings, Commander. Hey, Glyph, what up? What up, gangs? 
Leave my dog. All right, so Shackles is actually standing at attention. This is May important. I speak with you, Commander? Wow. I wonder, would you even have said that had I not uh, read the message? Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention. That Weren't you just facing me a second ago? What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. Kill them in and take it. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. Mm -hmm. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees? Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. Why me? Isn't this something you could do yourself? War profiteering is running rampant. And these refugees are wary of the Alliance military. They didn't trust me. But you are Commander Shepard, the hero. You could persuade them. Yes, ma'am. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. How did with we access end up to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medigel. Just random boost that you get for doing some lame made up side quest. How, I mean, how does it make sense that we ended up with the stuff that they need they ended up with stuff that need, I don't whatever. No point in sweating it. It would help all involved if you could barter a trade of medical supplies with the Citadel refugees. Speak to tactics. And I'm not going to tell you anything else not even hello until you've done it. Hello! We're the Weldons. Better save. This could go a couple different ways. Not that I'm planning to explore all of them, but just in case I appear to have royally screwed up. Wow, you know, Ashley, I don't think you understand how the observation deck works. Stars and stuff are over here. You appear to be looking at the logos on the door. Good to see you. <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? That's what we get? Good to see you. <laughs> Oh, Ashley, Ashley, Ashley. I do love you so much, girl. Shepard, we almost killed each other. I was so conflicted. We loved each other once, and then we were made enemies. Oh, Shepard, good to see you. All right, let's go to the cabin. I'm probably going to have to leave the cabin, come back, leave, come back, leave, come back about four times before we cycle through all the weird-ass scenes the game wants. Ashley may pop up and talk to us in our cabin at this point. Invite trainer. I think these are. I think we have like an intercom to invite people, and trainer is prioritized. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? We've got plenty of electrolytes. Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. Well, become a specter, and you Welcome can get your own. Ready to play? Play. I yeah, picked up Monopoly. a It takes forever. Citadel. No one ends up winning. Interface. Not nearly as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less space. And I recall you delivered something that closely resembled a challenge. So, interesting. <laughs> this one, I don't even know if Bobo will understand what I'm referencing because I'm not even sure if I remember. Do you accept the challenge? That's pretty much it. That's all I got. This is a trap, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just a simple Akbar lab joke. scientist, Commander. I'm sure your real-world expertise will give you an edge. Uh -huh. I have real-world expertise in moving horse-shaped pieces and L patterns. Ha! Oh, come on! <laughs> My you. word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 square grid. Great comeback. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line, like the Krogan, can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? I don't like where this is going. One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. Uh-huh. Oh, we did just save. I guess we can try to get in her pants and let her know that we got the wrong... And she might officially tell us we got the wrong equipment. And the other is interested in playing another game. Uh, such as? Uh, oh. That one. Hey, I'm sorry. You seemed interested. 
Oh, no, uh, I apologize. I try to be friendly, but you're not really my type. Remember how I liked Edie's voice? Oh. Sorry. I didn't realize you were a robo realize. <laughs> not at all. I can't wait to tell my friends that I broke Commander Shepard's heart and crushed him at chess. And then stepped oh, on really? his wiener. Unless you'd like to try to reclaim your honor. Hell yes. Okay, now it, it it's in no way, shape, or form worth it, but... Uh, I just want to see what happens if he actually is clued into the fact that she's a lesbian. It, it's totally not worth it, but... I guess I just have this instinctive need to load the game anytime I choose a, pa uh, a dialogue option that isn't in the top right corner of the little wheel. Do you remember how I liked Edie's voice, Mr. Thicko? You dumb breeder! <laughs> this glamour shot of Ash. Good to see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't tell me you've turned into one of those... Well, I was about to say something. Uh... Whew, I just caught myself. Uh, I was about to use a particularly unpleasant slang term for lesbians. Although, in fairness, I believe I uh, first heard it by one lesbian referring to another. But uh, it's still not something I should be repeating at an LP. No, no, that's not true. That was definitely a hetero dude who was being uh, rude. But I've definitely heard lesbians saying nasty things to each other. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and now the phrase stuck in my mind is... Your cabin is gorgeous. I don't so suck cock, I eat this. pussy, bitch. <laughs> being well, screamed. Ready to play? <laughs> in a public place. From one woman play. to another. I picked up a chessboard uh, on the uh, citadel. Can I skip Gooey past this and to the next... I recall there we you go. delivered something that closely... Uh, this is a trap. I'm just a simple... Uh, trap. Oh, come that on. That time I... <laughs> My word, Commander. In real life... That well, time I fell prey and instinctively you know said... That reminds me it's of a trap. One is an unstoppable I avoided trap. saying that last time. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep him in line. Boom. Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. But not much. I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. I'm glad you Thanks. didn't mention your testicles so, before I could. Rematch? Hell yes. Fuck yeah, bitch. Let's get it on. So what did I get for that? What was the point of that, gameplay-wise? I had to talk to her, or I wouldn't be able to talk to Alars. That's pretty much it. So if you're Femme Chef and you want to, you know, get your lesbian freak on, uh, that dialogue is an important part of it. But um, if you're not interested in getting lesbian freak on, or you can't because you don't have lesbian equipment, uh, it's just something you can do in order to talk to, uh, in, that you have to do before you can talk to somebody else. Wait, what happened? Invite Alice disappeared. Trainer, can you send Diana? Oh. She wanted an interview. And she's hetero. Right away, Commander. Ready for a chat, Commander? I'm ready. Would you like to interview my penis? <laughs> I just... <laughs> Sorry. Commander. It's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. Speaking of seats. If something as small as a human terrorist Speaking organization can small, hit the Citadel, oh wait, never mind. is anywhere safe? Okay, this is a test of your Smurf dialogue. Cerberus has limited resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do, and it cost them a lot of money and troops. Yeah. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They failed as many times as they've succeeded. Look kind of like humanity me. humanity has lost its counselor. Yeah, but he sucked. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. Well, now How you're in charge. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? Leaders will rise. I can't lose hope. Bay. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. But that day's rapidly approaching. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. Duty. All right. Now a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. Yeah, I killed Eugenia. I'm working for Cerberus. Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battlespace. Good night, and stay strong. Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this, and I'll follow you home. Oh, fuck. I didn't save, did I? Well, top right seems safe, usually. Looks like you already have. What happens now? You gave me a good interview, Commander. That's all I need. 
tonight. <laughs> the, the camera's like, you stay away from her. I know your type. <laughs> we got war assets for that? Well, okay. Okay, now I find out that you forever ruined the chance for uh, romance with Ash or Tally by even acknowledging the existence of that lady. Would you like to come to my private bathroom? circles around the way it does in North America, the true home of whatever. Oh man, I'm James and I can have sex off. Awesome. James, I've got some time if you want to talk private. I don't know. I, I'm not even like particularly randy oh, tonight. You know, I'm <laughs> sorry to put that thought in your head. Hey man, but how's it going? It's like every time they come into Good, his uh, private room, you? I figure Shepard's Good. trying to get Good. his Mac on. Oh, Bob, of course, wow. this is key if you're this Fem Chef trying to do him. get my own command. Well, you better start working hard on your own shit, ain't happening anytime soon. Yeah, maybe one day, when I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. <laughs> you just come up here to make fun of your commander? Because I will kill Sorry, you. Sorry, Loco. I guess maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Do you think I look you, like a steroided up freak? What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I joined. I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or...? Did you think about it before accepting? Do you have doubts? Wimp. The N7 program is a big deal, but it's also a big commitment. I hear that. Oh, a you get the best training, best change. equipment, best assignments, and they expect the best in return. Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? No reason. Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. Oh, that was me. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. Ooh, you don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. Well, maybe you should try. Well, I kicked my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. I... I ordered the Light Brigade to charge in the Crimean position. A bond is a commitment that can never change. It doesn't matter if it lasts for... 10 years... 6 months... Or 3 minutes. <laughs> Wait a second! Sorry, I'm flashing back to the Billy and Chuck wedding. Uh, that's uh, something that happens with me a lot. Anyway, uh, okay, you know the pattern, folks. I don't even have to read what it says. You start with the options on the left, and when they're all gone, you go to the top right. That's how Paragon works. It's uh, guided me uh, throughout all the great moral crossroads in my life. I'm like, I don't know what to do in this situation. A friend of mine needs advice on an important, <laughs> important problem. They, I know they're going to listen carefully to what I say, and I really want to help them. So I have to envision all the things I could say in terms of where they would appear on a dialogue wheel. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? Well, putting me in charge. What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol checking oh, out you were citizens, and the collectors hit. But they oh, hit the colony see. first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. Captain, so you anyone. were in charge. Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike. But before we could, we were betrayed. Mm. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the collector ship. Sounds pretty badass. It got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. But still, you shrank your t-shirt to show off your muscles better. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. I don't think so. Sure, but if you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? Yeah. I, I, don't well, I mean, know. yes, I, yes, they would have. They, they'd all be alive. So. That would be better. The right choice is usually not the easy one. The top right yeah. choice is usually the correct Did you one. Know that before you joined the N7. I know yeah. shit. That's why I was asked, and it's why they asked you. There's not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed either themselves or their soldiers at some point. 
So you think I should accept? Well, James, let me tell you a little something from my past. I... Oh, shit, I can't remember my background. Was I Soul Survivor? Fuck, never mind. Just say yes. Assuming we survived this, that's a no-brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. Fight with your claw, Vega. It. Seriously, if you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Yeah, I'm going to tell not. Cortez right away. Yes, yes. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here it's a little too soft for me. Excuse me? a lot harder than it looks. I'll take your word for it. Thanks again, loco. Anytime. Shepard, I, I need you to help me with an important decision. Uh, but you're a pansy soft motherfucker who doesn't have a tough life like I do. Well. Can I uh, assign people's points from here? No, but I got Ash. Yeah, Ash is back. It's gonna actually make it even harder to figure out squads, of course, because um, James. Is, I mean, he seems like I don't know. I, I don't hate the James character, but uh, we've got we've got so much history with so many of the other characters. It's hard to justify bringing him around on missions. But he's kicking some ass in combat. Ash. <laughs> Okay, so our options for Ash are default costume, which is a sexified version of what she used to wear, but other than the, like, sculpted breast armor, isn't... Well, you know, if we could see her back, I think the, the she has sculpted ass armor, too, but not horrible. You have this. I don't know what the hell's going on with giving everyone these ridiculous rave shades. And then this... Am I nuts, or are they trying to make it appear that she's wearing thigh-high boots and a miniskirt? and that she's showing her upper thighs. Even though I imagine that's supposed to be like textured metal armor or whatever, but they kind of sort of vaguely make it skin colored. So, I mean, am I crazy? I almost want to use this in a mission once just to see, but uh, I don't know, maybe I'm projecting my own weirdness onto the game, but it looks like they're like, yeah, here's Ashley, here's like combat armor, uh, rave outfit, and here she is in thigh highs and a miniskirt. Whatever. Everyone's in their default costume. I think I think I, I picked something different for Edie. Yeah, I gave her a slightly different... I should probably go back to her default, though. Although I think this even like does more ridiculous job highlighting the boobage. And uh, Garrus, I don't really remember what his default was. So that's probably it. I think everyone's in their defaults now. Uh, info... Weapons... Shields... Oh, armor bonuses... I didn't realize people had armor bonuses. Shields plus 25. Power damage plus 25. Be nice if you could assign their powers from here, but I don't think you can. Arms Master, that's locked. I'm not sure why that is. Um, she's got those god awful inferno grenades I had in the last game. Yeah, sure. Why not? Alright, well, I think we are actually ready. Uh, it's not bad timing either. The video is just about over, and I think we're pretty much ready to uh, go back to the CIC and actually uh, figure out uh, a mission to start on next time. Keep firing on unleashing powers to prevent enemy shields from regenerating. Makes sense. <sighs> so much for being done with the dialogue. What's Commander. Hey, what up, lady? What's worse, they're going to make us go back to the war room, which involves all this nonsense. No fighting. This is the war room. I didn't mean to do that. I'm trying to figure out if there's a way to run, but uh, those buttons I was just pressing, clearly not doing it. Bang it, bang it, bang it, bang it. Alright, well, we'll talk to the duty act man here before we get going. Shepard. I was hoping you'd check in again. Yeah, yeah, trainer you told okay? me. Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know you've got quite a fan club back here. Any Peach fans, about both the Cal sisters love you. Gives hope to the guys in the trenches. Sure. Good to hear it. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. Also, dancing it's in the dark, sir. It's more than that. 
Oh, this gun's for hire. Have never held a gun in their life. Well, this gun's for hire. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here, faith. That any of us will live oh, to I see another day. I got faith in the heart, sir. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? Nah. We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla style hit and runs, <laughs> but it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. Well, that's the final plot mission. I guess they're setting the stage. I know we at least got to do the Corian stuff. But the Corian stuff may be optional, but I don't think so. Uh, and certainly we've got to do the um, the stuff on the uh, Sorry Homeworld. I'm pretty sure that's not optional. Uh, there was also another stupid joke I was going to say during all this talk. Let's talk about dancing in the dark, and, uh, I've, uh, oh yeah, I said, uh, it's been like a shot in the arm, Shepard, and I was thinking, like, you mean that anthrax shot? That thing itches like a bitch, and it makes you sick for a week. Yeah, so there you go. There's a little shout-out to everybody out there who's ever had an anthrax shot. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the, the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard, I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. He's a good friend. The Reapers may seem Wait, like that's not threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate He's more him. dangerous than a species no. of super intelligent no, robots who can take it. over your brain. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. Okay, now can I get going with the mission? Seriously, guys, it would be cool if you'd let me get going. Hey, you hang out in the war room all the time, but can I, uh, lady, can I just start IMing you and asking you to check on Anderson periodically if he's got some? Or you, you could do it, buddy. Either one of you guys. You are not the one NPC who wanders the ship and is capable of being forced to salute, so. Commander. Hey. TSA of the future. Now everybody else on the ship wants to meet my private terminal. Nope, nope, that actually is it. I'm gonna save the game. Next time, folks, we're going straight to the map to see what there is to see. Uh, but I'm thinking that next mission we're going to take on the mission that I thought we were taking on when we did this, the fighter base. Which was a, you know, it's something to do with Cerberus, and it's bringing up an old squad mate. It's the Cerberus Scientist mission. I think that's what we'll do next, but we'll see what options there are, and wait over at that time. Oh, God, you know what we actually have to do, though? we got to go back to the Citadel and do this uh, Metagel thing that, sh that uh, Chakwas wants us to do. And um, I guess while we're there, we'll check on Jack. She told us to come talk to her. I think we already did it, but then the message telling us to do that popped up, so... We can just quick check, see if there's anything new with her. I'm a serious JG. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you'll join me next time for more Mass Effect 3. Bye-bye.